Blog Talk Radio. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. It's none other than your host, Pastor Jay, coming to you live from Houston, Texas. Now, we're trying to figure out if I got an echo or not. So, we're doing a test show this weekend. Okay. So, let's see what we can do about it. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to, oh, I'm going to play some music right quick. At least that'll uh, keep you till I get back. All right. And then we'll get into a full show. We want to bless you today. We don't just want to be on here. We just want to bless you today. So we'll get started with a little bit. I need thee by your very own Pastor J. Mm
back. Welcome back. It's none other than your host, Pastor Jay. Like I said, we're doing a testing, so just work with me today (laughs) as we try to make sure that our sound is together. A little later on in the broadcast, I will be talking about forgiveness. Let's sing. Oh, I know. We talk about it often. But it's important. Forgiveness is important. And a lot of times we don't realize just how important it is. It's important. Amen. So, listen, I want to first let you know that um, at Fresh New Beginnings Full Gospel Church, where uh, my pastor is none other than Apostle Anita Smith, it's anniversary month. This month, every Every Sunday, she will have have a different preacher preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, different church, different preacher. This Sunday, I will be sharing, amen, hallelujah, what God, amen, has laid on my heart. So if you would like to be there, it's, I think it's 7338. If I'm wrong, look on the flyer, praise God, or you can go to my page, Queenie. Jackson on Facebook, and you can see the flyer for the anniversary service. We're going to have a good, good time in the Lord. Amen. As I prepare, get ready to share with you the weather. You know, let's see what we got going on in the weather. Y'all wouldn't believe this if I t- if I didn't tell you, but I have on two sets of headphones. Two sets. Two sets of headphones. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we got, uh, and we have Yoshi in the house that she wants to give us a gift. She wants to sing, I guess. Uh-uh, Yoshi. No, no, no. This is Saturday, y'all. I want to let you know I am broadcasting from home. You will hear Yoshi. She will bark because I don't have time to put her up. We have started the show, Yoshi. I mean, just, just is it okay? Can I do the show? I'm I'm just asking for a friend. Uh, I'm asking for a friend. You know, she loves to just interact, I guess, with the show. Today is October the 5th, all right, Saturday. This is Houston, Texas. So y'all know our weather is up and down. We've been waiting on cool weather. I'm just saying. We've been waiting on cool weather. The temp right now is at 84 degrees. It's mostly sunny. High temperatures around 84. Now, I want y'all to understand something about Houston. Those of you that are from Houston and you're listening, I don't have to tell you. Uh, mm, I don't know if we'll have a winter. If we do, it may be uh, four weeks, and they may not be right up against each other. They might be a little spread out, uh, but we're going to go with it as much as we can, okay, Um, because Houston is fickle, like they say, all right, so I don't want y'all to get caught up, all right, so for tonight, it's going to be partly cloudy, this is tonight, becoming mostly clear, highs in the lower 70s, east winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northeast after midnight, Sunday, going to be sunny highs in the lower 90s northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour and for sunday night so we mostly clear lows in the lower 70s northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour you're listening to my gospel soul where we're breaking the yoke of bondage through the power of the word of god and i'm gonna tell you like we say on the Lil' Rilo TV channel. Don't hurt nobody. We shall be right back. Supplies all my needs. 
in advance. Just go crazy like it's your last chance. Amen. 
Set the cat free. Oh. Welcome back. It's your host. I hear a little feedback. So let's see. We do so well. So let's see what it is. I don't know what it is. You're going to try to see. I don't know. Can y'all hear me? I just know how to talk to so you really can't say if you can hear me or not. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. Let's Let's see. Can you hear me? I can hear me. I can hear me. Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.
with your stuff is a mess. Live for real. Live for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Live it for real. Live for real. Live it for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Live it for real. You're always on the phone with other itchy ears. Telling folks. Business while yours is in the clear. My God, he sits high and he looks low. You'll see more blessings when you hang up the phone. Live for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Live for real. Live for real. Live for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Live for real. I hear you talk about what Jesus did for you. Live for real. Spread your gospel, but is it the truth? Yeah. 
from the noise, away from the stress, just wanna be where you were, away from the drugs, the cares of this world, just wanna worship at your feet, nothing else matters, when I'm I want to be forever in your presence, giving everything to so be the warmth of your embrace. I want to be forever in your presence, giving everything to so be the warmth of your embrace. I want to be
And it goes like this. There's a sweet spirit in this place. I feel it all around me. Yes, yes it is.
Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Again, we are uh, in test mode today, but still want to make sure that we engage enough to uh, for you to hear and to get an encouraging word. Uh, this testing, <laughs> listen, it's something else, you know, when you start dealing with equipment or your equipment starts to malfunction. Let me put it like that. <laughs> then it gets to you and you're trying to figure it all out. And it's all good. It's all good. You know, we're going to keep it going in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, today, we're talking about forgiveness. Amen. Forgiveness. You know, and I never can talk about it too much. Praise God. Amen. God is in the forgiving business. Amen. I always talk about forgiving others. Amen. But I want to end on uh, God's forgiveness for us. Praise God, Amen. A lot of times, praise God, we we can believe we can forgive others, and it may take us a minute, but we can forgive others. It's, it's hard for us, Amen, to uh, believe that God has forgiven us, and also to forgive ourselves. Uh, we we do things out of spite or out of pain. Praise God, an area, Amen, in our lives that is very touchy, and we'll do things and feel justified in it. Amen. Then when we wake up from the 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 drunkenness of our emotions, uh, we have regret. Amen. And and I want to encourage you today to know that God is a forgiving God, amen. But you need to forgive yourself. Praise God. You need to forgive yourself. Amen. God has done the the big part of it, praise God, but you can forgive yourself. And sometimes we feel like no, no. I did. This was too bad. This was too too vindictive. This was too uh, cold blooded. I can't forgive myself. Yes, you can. You can forgive yourself because God has already forgiven you. Amen. You have already forgiven the people in it. Amen. Now forgive yourself. Don't allow yourself either to sink into a stereotype. Amen. And start to believe. Okay, well, this is who I am. This is how I operate. No, let me tell you something. When God, amen, has redeemed you, when God has changed your life, amen, and gave you a new way of walking, a new way of talking, praise God, a new way, praise God, doing things, all you need to do is amend your ways. You need to, what they call deferred adjudication. No, you need to go to that person, amen. God has already redeemed you, but you got to go do the work, praise God, amen, and make restitution for the things that you have done. Forgiveness is a touchy subject, you know, in with different situations. People say, okay, this man raped me. This, 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 my dad molested me. I was pregnant by my father, and my, he's a monster. And he's this. But sometimes we, there's something in us that says, Oh, this is your fault. Oh, we have that ancient voice or that spirit that came from an elder or or, or someone who was mad. It could have been your mother or something that said it was your fault for the way you dress and you can't this and you can't that and made you feel a certain way about yourself, whether it be physically, emotionally, uh, you know. And so I want you to understand that when you uh, forgive yourself, you release yourself. From, from generational curses, from soul ties, you release yourself. When you rebuke the identity that the enemy was trying to give you, when you rebuke that identity, you are able to walk in the newness of life. But you first have to have an understanding that this is not you. It was something that 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 uh that you did. It's the past. It is the past. You are not bound to repeat it. So I hear people say that you're bound to repeat it. Be careful what phrases you use. I'm, I I come against that in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not repeat what my father did. I will not repeat what my mother did. I will not o- abandon my children. And there was nothing wrong with me when my mother did this. There was nothing wrong with me when my father did this, when my uncle did this. It was not, that's not a part of me. It was done to me, according to God, but God, amen, has rooted it out, and I walk in the newness of life. And and, and I'm going to tell y'all, you know, it's times when it's hard to walk in forgiveness. I'm talking about of yourself. Come on. Not to mention forgiveness of others. You got to be in their presence. You got to see in their family. 
family reunion. You got to see them at this, that, and the other. And it takes you a while to adjust to seeing other people. So I know uh, it, it's, gonna, it take, it's taking a minute for you to adjust to it for yourself. A lot of times we raise our children out of uh, uh, forgiveness of ourselves. We tend to put what we were or what we did on what we missed out on, on our children. Oh, it's your fault. Oh, oh, let me make sure that you don't turn out like me. You know, and we have to be careful to not let our testimony in our lives turn into a weapon that will that will uh, plant a seed into our children. And like I say, sometimes it is very hard to do it, very hard to keep from doing it. Amen. But I want to just encourage your spirit, praise God. Forgiveness, charity, love starts at home. Amen. Then it spreads abroad. So what am I, What is Apostle saying today? I'm saying start inside of you, praise God. Hallelujah. A lot of people haven't even met their parents. They have abandonment issues. They, they they feel unwanted. They don't feel like they don't fit in. And let me tell you about your feelings. Sometimes your feelings will make you feel a certain way, but those feelings are not, are, are not I'm not saying the feelings are not valid, but the enemy has a way, amen, of deceiving you, praise God, of building you a life or a persona out of a false, amen, or out of, of imagination, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I often, you know, I was raised in a household, praise God, where we couldn't, we couldn't uh, participate in a lot of things. We didn't go to the movies. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't go on dates. We didn't go out with our friends. And it put us in a position in our lives to not be where we needed to be as far as uh, socially. Amen. And so it also created in us uh, where we feel like, feel inferior or we feel we don't fit in or we feel we don't deserve it or you know i didn't go to the movie so i was uh 18 years old and that was with a class <laughs> and but but at the time i mean my mom's intentions were good amen and she was doing her best to protect her children but at the same time it was creating uh it was creating a persona in me Amen. That was not going to be conducive to a healthy lifestyle. Amen. When I left her house, we have to be ever so careful, praise God, to make sure that we don't that we don't give our children issues. We don't give them, amen, extra stuff to fight with. They're already going to have to fight the enemy. <laughs> Come on, too. Well, if they have God on their side, amen. They they have nothing to worry about. But at the same time. We have to be careful not to overprotect or not to uh, give our children complex. Because I've heard a lot of parents say this when their children get up, what's wrong with them and why you act like that? We have to go back. What did you install or, or what, what happened, amen, in this child's life? And a lot of times we don't want to be honest as men and women God, amen, that some of ways that we do things is very harsh praise god and and then that child grows up they're mean they're harsh and you hear them talking to their children and you try to figure out how they get like that a lot of it look i just did i just did a uh live video a couple of weeks back and said that's on me amen some things that we that our children are going through and dealing with, amen, we need to, when we see it, we need to understand why God let us see it, and then we need to take responsibility for it, because I'm, I'm telling you how to kill a generational curse. Take responsibility for it, and then, and then sit down with your son or daughter and, and, and uh, root that out, how I root it out. Baby, I taught you that, I did that to you, that was wrong, I'm rooting it out. Then when you root it out, then you're able to sit, you're able to deposit, amen, a clean, pure uh, a mindset. Come on, I remember mom used to tell us about uh, being raped. If you dress like this, you're going to be raped. If you do this, you're going to be raped. Man, take you out into the field and do all this kind of stuff. Too. Intentions, her, her intentions were, were good, but the method she used created a... It scarred me, okay? 
I'm just going to tell you. You see, I, I vividly I remember what she said. That's because it's etched in my head. Okay? <laughs> you know, so I, I watched the way I did this, and I watched the way it made me such a such a head case as far as doing things till when the enemy is attacked in other ways, I wasn't ready for it. Uh, you know, I didn't see it coming because I only thought he he, he attacked in this way. Come on. And, and, and this type of person, and that type of it. But listen, amen. I had I took the initiative in my own daughter's life to teach them things, to tell them things, to be open right here, to tell them the truth about this, praise God, and the truth about that. And I was able to, amen, forgive my mother, and I also was able to forgive myself when I got to a certain place in my life. My mom, praise God, was able to sit down. We was able to talk through some things. I was able to tell her some things. Amen. I say, Mom, I'm going to tell you, and, and you, you know, some of the stuff going to be hurtful that you hear, but I got to tell you the truth. Praise God. And me telling her the truth, it freed me, praise God. Not sure what it did for her, but it may have helped her get to know me. Amen. But it also, praise God, put, put me in a position to be able to, to to get to forgive myself, to forgive myself for some of the decisions I made, some of the turns that I took, and and understand that God is a forgiving God. Amen. Help in in forgiving myself. Amen. Praise God. Let's look at uh, this next scripture. Uh, well, I read a scripture earlier, so I will read that one over. It says Ephesians one seven. It says in Jesus we have redemption through his blood, through his blood, meaning through his bloodline, through Jesus Christ dying on the cross and us receiving Jesus Christ, transformed our bloodline from our mama's bloodline and our daddy's bloodline to the bloodline of Jesus Christ. The forgiveness of our sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace, the riches of God's grace. God's grace is so rich to whatever that sin is, he is so he is so faithful to forgive us. Psalms eighty five and two. You forgive the iniquity of your poor of your people, Lord, and cover all their sins. You do it. God does it. Come on, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God does it. Psalms eighty six and five says you are forgiving and good, and Lord, according uh, abounding in love to all who call to you, to all who call to you, you are abounding in love, forgiving and good. Hallelujah! So you telling me as simple as me calling on His name, as simple as me saying, "Lord, forgive me." Hallelujah! Amen. God makes us free. God lifts the heavy burden. God, amen, takes the dark cloud away. The Lord uh, renews your mind and your strength. Amen. You hear, praise God, a lot of people who deal with, uh, who deal with depression, praise God, amen. They say it's like a dark cloud, a heaviness that sits on them, amen, and that's true, amen. It's a heaviness that, that'll sit on you, praise God, when you're carrying the, care, the cares of this world, you're carrying worry. You're carrying stress. You're carrying things. Amen. Let me tell you something. God, amen, will will lift that burden. He will lift that heavy cloud off of you, praise God, help you to see clearly, help you to see up here clearly. Because a lot of times that cloud is on us, that pain is on us, that loneliness, that depression, that stress is on us. When people talk to us, we're not hearing with a, a clear mind. We're not hearing with good hearing. Our hearing is, is, is tainted. We, we, oh, you said that with attitude. Oh, you talking to me with attitude. And sometimes people are not talking to you with an attitude. Sometimes they're just, they're explaining, you know, amen. Hallelujah. So God is good and he's faithful. Amen. He's faithful. Glory to God. Look at this. It says in Psalms 103 and 12, it says, as far as the east is from the west, 
For has God removed our transgressions from us? Look. Far from us, praise God. But we, but we, look, we're one that, that holds. We're one that holds grudges, holds pain, holds strength. You hear people say, just let it go. I mean, that's real. Just let it go. Because I'm telling you right now, hallelujah, all that that you feel that's on you, that's holding you, that has you bound, amen, it does not. Every day I make a conscious decision to to get up, I'll feel bad or, or I'll feel like a negative cloud or negative uh, feeling trying to sit on me, and, uh, and, and, I'll, and I'll decide to be happy. I'll decide to have joy. I'll decide that that bill ain't going to have me <laughs> all in my feelings and all in my anxieties all day long. I decide, praise God. You can decide, amen, to walk in forgiveness. You can decide to walk in faith. Amen. You can decide to give it to God. You can decide. Hallelujah. Amen. I was I I, I lost my job and um so I was I was stressed because I had some big bills. <laughs> Look, I had an office, I had I had a uh uh, I had an art shop. I had this. I had that. And when I lost the job, I, I I started to stay down for a little while, feel it. But the Lord told me, get up, get your stuff out of the wacky crack shop. Went and got all my stuff out of there. Uh, so I just started moving. The Lord said, now go and, and, and pack your office. Get ready to clear it out. Cleared it out. And listen, I was... I didn't cry about it uh, at first. I mean, well, I kind of knew that the that the that the that the firing was coming. See, some of us gonna admit that we got fired. I, I <laughs> the firing was coming, y'all. Fire during that situ during that stage where they said, "Well, you know, you go home while we figure out what we're gonna do with you." <laughs> And honey, I, I look, and people say, "Well, you're a pastor. I know you walked in faith. Not at first, not at first, baby. Baby, I, I'm, I had a, I had a, I had a problem. I was, I was going through the house. I was stomping through the house. I was repenting, and repenting one minute. Then I was, Lord, I ain't getting nothing wrong, blah blah. blah. And the next minute, Lord, you gave me this job. You wouldn't take it <laughs> when it's complete. I, when it's both ways." He can take it. Come on. Hallelujah. He can keep, let you keep it. He can take it. You know, amen. In that instance, praise God, it was time for me to get up out of there. Amen. Hallelujah. And sometimes we don't know God's plan. We can't see God's plan. <laughs> and because at that moment we ain't even thought about trusting God, all we thinking about is what we're about to lose. <laughs> so when I got past that and the Lord began to, the Lord began to show me, hey, move on, do uh, do this, do that. You got more time now to do this and that. You got more time now to, to, to go here, go there. Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't say that the trial stopped. Because, baby, after that, you know, it was other stuff I lost. It was other stuff. I had to let go of it. was other stuff. He said, okay, that's time's up on this. Time's up on this. You finished with that. Ooh, and I'm telling you, I went through a season where it felt like I was just losing. I was just losing. I started to take it personal. Lord, it's my fault. I did this and I did that, and this is why you took it. And, Lord, forgive me. And, oh, <laughs> baby, when I was packing that up, I was packing everything up. And uh, I couldn't see God at the moment. Amen. Then it came to a time. Amen. After everything was packed up and moved and I could sit down. Well, I realized, praise God, that God said he, he won't put more on us than we could bear. Amen. Hallelujah. I could barely eat. I could barely, look, I was barely making it. I lost the truck. I had lost it. It was, look, it was something else. But God, I had to take my focus off of those things 
and get my mind on God. The depression, listen, for you. The, now, don't tell, listen, let me tell you, if you are dealing with depression, you ought to know where I'm coming from. Depression is hard to shake sometimes. You'll be have three days up, three day, uh, two days down. You'll have a whole month up, then here we go, two weeks down. Thank God. It's a constant shaking yourself. It's a constant uh, reminding yourself, oh, oh, here, here it comes. Oh, I know, devil, I know how to fight you. I'm going to give this to God. I know how to deal with you. I'm going to give this to God. And once you consistently do so, amen, and make it a practice, then you're able to make it through those dark times. Amen. I hope my testimony bless you. In First John 2 and 1, it says, if anybody does sin, we have one who speaks to the Father in our defense, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. Jesus Christ died on the cross to be our defense attorney. <laughs> he is our attorney. Come on. Hallelujah. He stands up for us. Praise God. Amen. That's why people say, get Jesus. Get Jesus. So he stands up for us. He advocates for us to the Father. Praise God. Amen. When the Father looks up, if he don't see Jesus, you know how they say, uh, uh, um, a man who represents himself in court has a fool for a lawyer. Okay, that's how we are. We got to understand that it's through Jesus Christ who make it inter- who make it intercession for for us. Praise God! It's through Him, Amen. Hallelujah! And you want Him talking? You want Him talking to God for you? You want this attorney talking to God for you, Amen? And he's a he. He never lost the case. You want? <laughs> you want? Hallelujah! Glory to God, Amen. Take it to His Father, the beloved one. Come on. The begotten son, come on, hallelujah, gave his life for you, amen, let him talk for you, amen, let him work, let him help, let him take it to his father for you, glory to God, amen, and I'm telling you, it's going to be all right, amen, I'm telling you, praise God, but sometimes it's the hardest thing for us to do, amen, it's the hardest thing for us to do, to let go and, and, and give it to Jesus, amen. I promise you, he will make it all right. He will, glory to God, make it all right. Let's see. Praise God. I want to take a break, play our favorite statement. My gospel soul, favorite statement, God favors me today. God honors me today. I am a success today. I have God's special favor on me today. He makes his face to shine upon me today. He is gracious to me today. I am someone very special with the Lord. I like people and they like me. I am flowing in God's love and others are receiving healing both in mind and body through my life and ministry. I am growing in the Lord. I am waxing strong in spirit. I am growing in wisdom and I have favor with God and man. I obtain favor in the sight of all who look upon me. I shall have favor today with people. I will meet nice people today. I shall have good relationships with people today. I shall favor and honor others today. I will be a blessing to the Lord. I will be a blessing to others. I am a person of prayer. God is bringing me into favor and success today. Confess favor with people, businesses, your family, friends, city, boss, and co-workers, and everyone you come in contact with. This has been my gospel soul's favor statement. God bless. All right, that's our favorite statement. Amen. I hope you feel favored. I hope you feel blessed. I want you to know that God is a forgiving God. Amen. Same God that that, uh, <laughs> that forgave Peter. Same God. Amen. Hallelujah. Same God that added on to uh, Hezekiah's life. Amen. Same God. <laughs> Same God. Hallelujah. Amen. Same God. Hallelujah. 
Listen, I, I want to share uh, how you can keep up with us. Uh, My Gospel Soul Radio, with me. And they call into the live show at 347-826-9424. We're trying to get a more consistent schedule. Y'all pray for me. Blog Talk Radio has been up and down. When we want to uh, log in for our shows, we can't. There's just there's some stuff going on. So y'all just y'all y'all just bear with us. We ain't went nowhere. All right. You also can find us on Blogspot. That's my gospel soul. M A G dot Blogspot dot com. You can also find us on Twitter. Well, that's X. <laughs> you can find us on Facebook. My Gospel Soul Magazine, My Gospel Soul. Amen. You can find us on YouTube at the MGS Network, and you can find us on Instagram, okay? If you would like to proceed into uh, our podcast, you can sow it at, uh, if you go into the cash app, at e- Eagles U-M, E-A-G-L-E-S-U-M. Shout out sign at the beginning. Y'all know how it goes. All right. Praise God. I had a wonderful time. Thank you all for bearing with us. We're trying to get our sound and stuff together. Um, we'll go out on these words. We want you to remember that without faith it's impossible to please God, but with God, all things are possible. Who cares? God cares. <laughs> Oh, oh.